my topic is about the uh, why I why we need to combine the difference rating with superficial threading uh, to make threaded reposition a better option for your patient. And uh, uh, I will share my experience and uh, 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 to explain why uh, sometimes I use the difference rating uh, to make a better result. Uh, first of all, uh, because the, the formation of the jaw have um, uh, not, not, the not, not only the single etiology, let us see the video. We can classify the jaw into three different types based on anatomy. The, the type one uh, is the jaw come from the superficial fat and the, the type two, the jaw come from the dropping of the bulk of the pad and the type three come from the uh, elasticity of the smooth. Oh, can you see my presentation PowerPoint? Okay, I'm Dr. Ro and uh, today's topic is evaluation on the safety of the deep threading based on the 3D anatomy and the tensile strength scale. Tensile strength scale is the new concept. So uh, I want to introduce this concept. Uh, Contention is like this, the technique and the anatomical structure to watch out and the mechanism of damage and conclusion. Uh, today's my presentation is based on the, the uh, expert opinion, especially implants. So, uh, and the animal and the lab experiment. So the level of evidence is very low. Level five level, uh, evidence. You must consider uh, this point. So uh, it's another uh, idea that he prefer uh, superficial <coughs> more than deep threading. So please welcome uh, Dr. Ben Liang, please. Yes, can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Okay, okay. Okay, my name is Dr. Ben Long from Taiwan. Uh, thank you for being here. It's a great honor for me to be able to share with my practical experience on how to apply the superficial threading technique for Jupin buckle fat pad. It's my brief CV. First, I will share with you some disadvantages of deep plant threading from my clients. While operating deep plant threading, general anesthesia is usually necessary. My clients were afraid of the processing with only local anesthesia. Okay, uh, thank you Dr. Huang inviting me to join this seminar. It's my honor to share my point of view with the expert of the facial rejuvenation. Uh, my opinion is lifting deep tissue on the SMARS is unnecessary. First of all, let's review the, the facial anatomy. This is the, uh, the tissue, this skin, this uh, the uh, facial fat compart compartment, this mass, this muscle, this bone. The study have shown that the skin of the uh, subcutaneous fat compact compartments close connect the, the skin. Closely connect to smas. The smas closely connect to tissue on the knee. The muscle, the muscle. On the facial rejuvenation, when we lift the deep the tissue and the nose treat skin and uh, the, uh, the superficial tissue, due to the nose connect between tissue. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> that means you uh, you already penetrate deeply to avoid the more risky area before you enter this area, right? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. Could you please also make some comment on uh, Dr. Suming O's um, thought uh, about the material that uh, how to reduce the risk to uh, penetrate or injury the parotid gland because of the uh, because the, uh, the difference of the material. Sorry, or, pardon? Yeah, yeah, uh, Suming. Uh, swimming, yes. Uh, according to your uh, thought, uh, do you think uh, Dr. Zhang's uh, explanation uh, answer your concern, or if you have any uh, question to Dr. Zhang again? Uh, 
no, no. <laughs> I, my first concern is the, the facial of frontal damage, but the, Dr. Zhang uh, exactly uh, explained the upper part upon the yes. lateral part. Yes, that is the, the over the upper part of the, the superficial temporal artery frontal body, so it's safe. Okay, I agree. Yes, yes. 